Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss how to draw the shear conformation of the glucose. So up to now, we have discussed how to draw the Fischer projection and the Howard projection for the glucose. This is the Fischer projection, the non cyclic structure, in which the OS group, which are present on the right hand side, shaded in green color are present in the downside in the Havard projection and the hydroxy group which is present on the left hand side in the Fischer projection is present up in the Havard projection. And this carbon is a newly formed stereocenter which has hydroxy group either on the downside or on the upside. When OS group is present on the downside this form is known as the alpha form and when OS group is present on the upside it is known as the beta form. So this is alpha enomer, this is beta enomer and this is anomeric carbon and anomeric carbon is a newly formed stereocenter in the Havard process. So up to now we have already discussed. So let's start to draw the shear conformation of the legal form. So these are the alpha and the beta form. How to draw these? We have already discussed. The OS group which are present on the left hand side in the Fischer projection are present on the upside and the OS group which are present on the right hand side are now present on the downside. And this newly formed OS group, I said this in the yellow color to distinguish it from the other OS groups. So, let's draw the chair confirmation for these two enomers. If you look at this structure or this structure, it seems to be planar. But as you know, the sp3 carbon is not a planar carbon, it is a non planar carbon. SP2 carbon is planar. So we have to draw a non planar structure. So all the atoms present in the ring are SP3 hybridized, they are not planar. So we have to draw a non planar structure. If we compare with the cyclohexane, the formula C6S12, there are 6 ring carbon atoms, here 5 ring carbon atoms, and 1 is oxygen. So the situation is comparable with this cyclohexane. As we know, the cyclohexane exists in a number of conformations, for example, uh, chair, half chair, boat, fish boat. And out of these conformations, the chair form is the most stable due to the least steric hindrance. As we know, the Fischer projection has left and right position, Havard projection has up and down position. The chair conformation has equatorial and the axial. So, how to draw the chair conformation and how to draw the equatorial axial bone? It already discussed in uh, some previous lecture. But for uh, uh, the better understanding, I am drawing these bones once again. So, let's start with the uh, chair conformation. So, the chair confirmation for this can be drawn like this. Uh, first of all, draw two parallel lines like this. Parallel to each. Two lines parallel to each. Then, there are four points. One, two, three, four. You can start with either. Let's start with this one. Draw a line like this and a line of equal length opposite to. Not up to here, but up to here. These two lines are of almost same length or equal length exactly. Then join this point with this one or this with this one. So this is the chair conformation. 
Now, how to draw the axial and the equatorial? Okay, first of all, what, have, what do you have to do? Position the O, oh, oh, sorry, O oh, group, this oxygen, this oxygen comes to here. This is oxygen. This is ring oxygen. This one. then carbon, this one, then this carbon, then this carbon, then this carbon, and finally this carbon. So this is carbon number six in the period structure. This is five, four, three, two, one. Similarly, this is five. Four, three, two, one. So first draw the axial and the equatorial. Here is oxygen, so there is no need for the bomb. Now start from here. So let first draw the axial bomb. Start from here. Down. Down, up, down, and here. So there is no need because there is oxygen. So these are the axial. Now, how to draw the equatorial bone? Let's start from here. If you want to draw an equatorial bone here, link the two at the center. This one and this one. The next bone is this. Or this. These two bones are parallel. So draw a line parallel to this. So. Like this. Then come to here. Draw a line parallel to this. Then come here. Draw a line parallel to this. Then come here. Draw a line parallel to this or parallel to this. Then come to here. Draw a line parallel to this. Okay. So how to draw the equatorial axis bone? Similarly for this one. This is a four oxygen. Ring oxygen, this oxygen is this. Okay. Then again draw the axial and equatorial bone in the same manner. Then equatorial bone. Now, how to place these group on the chair? Remember one thing. Except the newly formed OH group, this one, all the bulky group present on the carbon are on the equatorial side. So this one, this one, this one, this one. There is one more group which is hydrogen here. Here is also hydrogen, here is also hydrogen, and here is also hydrogen. So if you compare the F and CH2OH, CH2OH is bulkier. If you compare H and OH, the OH is bulkier. So the bulkier groups are present on the equatorial side. So 
So let's start from here. This is CS2 OH. Okay, this is OH. Place the bulkier group on the equatorial side, not on the axial side. We remember. And I am not placing here for now. CS2 OH, CS2 OH, CS2 OH, CS2 OH. Then there is OH, this one, air, green one, green one. Yes. Now come to this newly formed OS. So this newly formed OS is either present on the equatorial side or present on the axis. There are two possible. Suppose it is present on the axial side. Okay. Then how to draw? Axial side is this one and this is equatorial. So we have to draw the newly formed OH here. Or may be present on the equatorial side. Sorry, I have to draw this in the yellow. So the newly formed OS group is either present on the equatorial side or on the axial side. When it is present on the axial side, this is known as the alpha plane. When it is present on the equatorial side, it is known as the beta plane. So as we know, when the bulkier group is present on the equatorial side, it has more room more space so the structure is more stable that's why the beta form is more stable than the alpha form. so there is no need for the axial bone so i have removed this this axial bone for the better visualization so i have removed this There is no only for this equatorial. All these actual bond have the hydrogen. So this is beta form and this is alpha form. So 
alpha form has over on the axial position and the beta form has on the equatorial as the bulkier group are stabilized at the equatorial position the part it has more room so the beta form is more stable than the alpha form so there is question why there is need of the different structure for the digging probe why the only one structure is enough as we know the dv pose is cannot be represented by a single structure it has open chain structure it has cyclic structure. so the non cyclic structure is represented by the fish projection which has over on the right and left position the hawar projection up and down over and the chair transformation which has over on the equatorial or the axial the three form the alpha form beta form and the non cyclic fissure projection exist always in equilibrium with each other the uh, percentage of alpha form is approximately 36% and beta form is approximately 64% it these two both combinedly make almost 100% but not Will do exactly 100%. The rest amount is present as the non-cyclic structure or the fish structure. So these three forms are always present in equilibrium with each other. That's why we need the three projections: fish projection, the alpha, beta projection in the hour structure, and the cyclic form and the chain transformation alpha and the beta. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video.